Let's build a do-it-yourself light-following robot car using the Quad Store Kit. This robot detects and follows a light source in dark environments. Prepare the chassis plate. Start by taking the acrylic base plate and carefully removing the protective film, clear or brown, from both sides. This Mount the first motor. Insert one motor mount into the chassis base as shown in the video. Place the motor in the center of the mount and then attach the second motor mount on the opposite side of the motor. Insert one of the longer bolts through the motor mount and base and fasten it with a nut on the other side. Repeat this for the second bolt at the top to ensure the motor is tightly secured between the mounts. Follow the same process on the other side of the chassis to mount and secure the second motor. Once both motors are in place and firmly secured, insert the wheels into the motor shafts until they fit snugly. Now let's install the rear caster wheel. Move to the rear end of the chassis. Take a small screw and insert it through one of the holes. Use a hex nut on the other side to tighten it. Do the same for the second hole. Align the caster wheel in place and fasten it using two screws to complete the rear wheel assembly. And that's it. You've successfully assembled your 2WD chassis. Now that the 2WD chassis assembly is complete, let's move on to mounting the microcontroller PCB onto the chassis. Start by inserting screws into the holes as shown in the video and secure each one with a hex mount on the top. Repeat this for all four mounting holes. Once the hex mounts are in place, position the microcontroller PCB on top of them and fasten it using screws. That's it. Next, connect the motor wires. Insert the right motor wires into the D9 and D10 sockets and the left motor wires into the D5 and D6 sockets on the PCB. Note that the red and black motor wires are interchangeable. If your robot doesn't move straight, simply swap the wires in the sockets to correct the direction. Now, let's place the battery holder. Stick a piece of double-sided tape to the bottom of the holder and press it firmly onto the chassis base. This will keep it securely in place. Finally, connect the DC plug from the battery holder to the DC jack on the microcontroller PCB. Now, let's install the light sensors one by one. Take one of the light sensor module also called as photoresistor module and connect jumper wires to its G and D 5V and out pins. This will be your center sensor. Use double-sided tape to attach the sensor to the robot chassis as shown in the video. Route the wires neatly and connect the other ends of the jumper wires to the microcontroller boards 5V, G, ground and D 
three sockets. Next, repeat the same steps for the left and right light sensor modules. For the left sensor, connect the out pin to D2 on the microcontroller and connect the 5 volt and ground pins to the corresponding pins. For the right sensor, connect the out pin to D4 on the microcontroller and connect the 5V and GND pins to their corresponding pins. That's it. Your light following robot is now ready to operate. Place the robot in a dark environment and turn it on. Point a light source toward it. The robot should start moving toward the light. To make the robot move straight forward, ensure the light falls on all three sensors. To make it turn left, direct the light only on the left and center sensors. Similarly, to make it turn right, shine the light on the right and center sensors. If your robot doesn't move in the correct direction when following light, here's how to fix it. When you shine light on the left and center sensors, if the robot moves away from the light or backward to the left, instead of turning left and following the light, interchange the red and black motor wires in the D5 and D6 sockets. When you shine light on the right and center sensors, if the robot moves away from the light or backward to the right, Instead of turning right and following the light, interchange the red and black motor wires in the D9 and D10 sockets. When you shine light on all three sensors, if the robot moves backward instead of forward, interchange both left motor wires, D5 and D6, and right motor wires, D9 and D10. This should resolve the issue and make your robot follow the light correctly.